MSRT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. The Southeastern Conference has its preseason all-conference teams out. These are voted on by the media. Two Kentucky Wildcats making the cut on the all-SEC third team. Defensive back A.J. Stamps and place kicker Austin McGinnis. In his first season with the Wildcats in 2014, Stamps registered 56 tackles, four interceptions, and McGinnis, meanwhile, made 41 straight extra point tries and set a program record by connecting on a 54-yard field goal against Tennessee. Ohio native De Niro Laster, who last season uh, he played at the University of Minnesota. Guess what? He announced via Twitter that he will transfer to Kentucky this year. Laster, who stands at 6 feet 4, 226 pounds, will have to sit out though this season, but will have two years of eligibility remaining with the Wildcats. So good news there for Kentucky football. The Ohio Valley Conference will hold its football media days this coming Monday, but the preseason media poll is out and check it out. The Jacksonville State Gamecocks get 14 of the 15 first place votes. EKU is picked second in the league. The Colonels are the other team that picked up a first place vote. Meanwhile, Eastern Illinois selected to finish third. Well, one of the reasons why the Colonels are picked second in the conference is because of this guy right here. Senior running back to Sean Mobley. He's back and he's the OVC preseason offensive player of the year. He actually won the award last season. Mobley, of course, transferred to EKU prior to last year from Kentucky. He put up more than 1,500 yards on the ground, including 20 touchdowns. On the baseball cats, Dustin Beggs and Kyle Cody were both selected in the Major League Baseball draft a month ago. Typically a dream come true for college athletes, but they're coming back to Lex. Beggs and Cody both say they will not sign professional contracts and return for their senior season at Kentucky. Beggs was a 32nd round pick of the New York Mets. Cody was selected by the Minnesota Twins in the second round. On the second half of the Major League Baseball season is right now. If you look at the Cincinnati Reds roster, it may be very different from what it could look like before the trade deadline with several big names on the trading block. But in an exclusive interview with WIMT, former Red shortstop Barry Larkin thinks the future is still bright for the organization. You know, you've seen a few guys get called up. There were three guys from the Reds that played in the Futures game, but there's a lot of young talent throughout the league, throughout the organization of the Reds. Uh, both on the mound and, you know, outfielders, infielders. So Cincinnati's going to be, uh, they're going to have an influx of players, and uh, there's some good players down the pipeline, so just stay patient with them. All right, speaking of the Reds, they were hosting Cleveland last night. Starting pitcher Mike Leak had already driven home a run with a squeeze bunt. How about another one? This one to right field with, for extra bases, two runs score, and the Reds go up four to nothing. Then after a one-hour rain delay, the guys come back out on the field, and then Joey Votto. Bye. We'll see you later. That puts up the Reds up five to nothing, and Cincinnati gets the win to open the season second half. Six-one over the Indians. That's a look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.